yesterday was a tragedy. It also marked the end of the Republican Party. A legitimate Democratic political party, by definition, must believe in democracy. Using false pretense to incite a deadly riot must have consequences for everybody who participated, every Capitol Police officer who was complicit, and the majority of treasonous Republican legislators who voted to deny multiple American states a say in our national election. There must be consequences for mass propaganda platforms like Fox, Newsmax, and Parler, which continue to spread incendiary lies inspiring domestic terrorism. And there must be consequences for their long-disgraced figurehead who continues to campaign for dictatorship. If there are no consequences, the temper tantrum of a centuries-old white power movement on its last legs will keep trying to drag America into chaos. The cultural heirs to 1692 Salem, who invented imaginary enemies to justify masochistic brutality, wearing identical red caps, waving flags representing imaginary clans, will never stop embracing contradictory, ever-mutating conspiracy theories, because they live in a hell on earth, damned to an eternity of searching for excuses for white supremacy. Real America, meaning those of us who believe in reality, cannot coexist, compromise, or unify with a hate group, deranged paranoia, and explicit or implicit calls for violence. Living in reality America is not going to bend over and pick up and fact check one more piece of garbage in a good faith effort to redeem an irredeemable conversation. It's over now. The living saint of pathological lying has finally been suspended from social media, but he still retains access to the nuclear codes, and that is an unacceptable breach of national security. So is the ideology that put him in that position. The Republican Party of today is a fascist, anti-democratic movement whose sad members kept their promise of turning to violence, attacking their own congressional headquarters because that is the endgame of a suicidal belief system. No human culture can sustain itself worshipping money and power and promising tribal dominance by force. The misnamed Republican Party is without principle other than extreme selfishness and like any sociopathic narcissist, you cannot give it an inch or it'll take a mile. We've long known that having only two political parties is a sham. There should be a dozen or more. The Republican Party cannot be one of them. Good faith, constructive debate on public policy, including a variety of voices, is healthy. Denial of reality and deliberate mass deception is fatal. It has been fatal. And for that, there must be consequences.